So in this problem, we need to determine the equation of a parabola with focus at 0, 0. And the equation of the directrix is given to us. So let's begin. So we'll try to understand the problem graphically first. Let us consider a straight line. Well, let's say this is a straight line. This is the uh, line which depicts the directrix and has the equation 2x minus y minus 1 equals to 0. Next, we'll consider another line which is perpendicular to this directrix line. And this line has a name. It's referred to as the axis of symmetry line. This is the line on which we'll consider a point F. F has the coordinates, let's say 0, 0. That means this particular point F is going to represent the focus of the parabola. Our goal will be to determine the equation of the parabola with these two given information. So what we'll do to begin with, we are going to consider a point P. Let's say P has the coordinates H, K. Now P is going to be the locus of the parabola. Now to find out the equation of the parabola, what we'll do, we'll join point P and point F. We can easily find out this the length by using distance formula. We'll come to that in a moment. And then next, what we'll do, we'll drop a perpendicular from point P on the directrix line. Let's say the perpendicular meets the directrix at point M. So we have the perpendicular length PM. By definition, we know. We know that this PF will be equals to PM. That's the definition of a parabola. Now, well, let's find out the distance. Here PF will be I will take the square root. Here we are going to apply the distance formula. So underneath the square root, we'll begin by first considering the difference of the x coordinates. So where we have h minus 0, we're going to square this value. And then we're going to add it to the difference of the y coordinates. So that's k minus 0 whole square. This will be equals to pm. Now pm is the perpendicular distance of the point p from the directrix line. There's a particular formula to find out the length pm. So let's go through the formula quickly. Suppose we have a point p with the coordinates x1, y1. And we have a straight line whose equation is given by ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Now pm is going to be the perpendicular on the line. And it also represents the perpendicular distance of point p from the straight line. Now to find out this uh, perpendicular distance, all we have to do is take the absolute value. And in the, inside the absolute value, we'll first take the coefficient of x of the straight line. So that's a. So a will be multiplied with the x coordinate of point P. This will get added to b. b is the coefficient of y of the straight line. So that gets multiplied with the y coordinate of the point P the, to get b y1. And finally, we're going to add the constant term of the straight line. So that's plus c divided by the square root of, so here we take the sum of squares. Now here, the square values are taken in such a way that these represent the coefficient of x and y of the straight line. So we're going to use this formula here. So in our case, we have the coefficient of x of the directrix line, so that's 2. 2 is going to get multiplied to the x coordinate of point P, so that gives us 2h. Then we have the coefficient of y, that's negative 1. Negative 1 will get multiplied to the y coordinate of point P to give us negative k. And then we have the constant term, which is simply negative 1. Divided by the square root of, we'll have to take the square of the x coordinate, so that's 2 squared. This gets added to the square of the y coefficient of y coordinate, so that's negative y. So we have negative 1 squared. Now, what we'll do? We are going to square both sides. Squaring both sides gives us h squared plus k squared. We have taken care of the square root by squaring it. And on the right hand side, we have 2h minus k minus 1, all squared in the numerator, divided by, now square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared, that's square root of 5. Now when we square it, we're going to get 5. So we can cross multiply to get 5h squared plus 5k squared equals to, now we have a, a, a plus b plus c whole squared. So when we expand it, we should get 4h squared plus k squared plus 1. Then negative 4 times hk. Then positive 2 times k. And then we have negative 4h. Now we're going to uh, transpose all the terms from the left hand side to the right hand uh, from the right hand side to the left hand side. So 5h squared minus 4h squared is going to give us positive h squared. Add it to 5k squared minus k squared that becomes 4k squared. Then we have the remaining terms, so we get positive 4hk plus 4h minus 2k minus 1 equals to 0. Now, final step, what we'll do, we'll replace the value of h with x and the value of k with y. And that should give us x squared 
plus 4y squared plus 4 times xy plus 4 times 8x minus 2 times y minus 1 equals to 0. And this is going to be the required equation of a parabola, which is having a focus at 0, 0, and the equation of the directrix given by 2x minus y minus 1 equals to 0.